Hi, this is HT Wingnut, and uh, this is the Sager NP9873, and I wanted to show you the, uh, I guess, how loud the fans get on this machine. Um, actually, once they get it under control, once you basically you tune it a little bit, fans are uh, actually pretty reasonable for having a dual GTX 1080s and an i7-6700K desktop CPU in it. In any case, I'll be quiet for a second. You can take a look at the uh, decibel meter here at Ambient. A little bit of outdoor noise here, but it's about 22-23 at uh, nothing else going on outside. Um, in any case, I'll go ahead and fire this up. What I'm going to do is I'm going to run um, Future Mark uh, 3D Mark Time Spy uh, a couple times. One, I'll do it with the default uh, sound profile, or I guess fan profile, and then I will also run it with um, full fans, so you can see both the temperature difference as well as the uh, um, how loud the, the fans get. Let's start HW monitor here um, just to get a gauge on, on peak temps. It's not the whole story. I tried to get average temps, but there you got to record everything and then you got to use Excel to figure it out and everything, but in any case, we'll use that as a gauge right here to tell the difference. I did calibrate the screen. I'll talk about the screen later as well. See, it was just right around 30. We'll go ahead and make sure it doesn't do the demo or anything and go ahead and run it. Um, but before I do that, I will start this so we can take a look at the uh, there's max fans. See, max fans is about 61 decibels. And I, the reason why I did that is sometimes I have to do that to get the sensors to detect the. Uh, there they are, fans running at 4300 approximately RPM right now. So I'm going to turn off max fans, which function plus one. It can also be done through the uh, Clevo Control Center, which you can go through your uh, system tray down here uh, to your Clevo Control Center right there. Or you can just hit function escape. You'll see it pop up here. And then you can go to system programs and get different fan profiles. So you can even do custom. You can have it go up to 80% of full fan speed at the maximum speed of the automatic fan profile. But I'm going to go ahead and do automatic. That's the system. Hopefully that wasn't too confusing. In any case, um, I'll go ahead and run it.
That's with the fans running about 2800, 2900 RPM. It was at about 40 decibels. Sorry, 49 decibels. Score 10, 157 score, 12, 587 graphics score, and uh, temps were 88C on the CPU, 87C on the master GPU, and 83C on the slave GPU. So that is with um, SLI enabled using the latest drivers, 372. I'll have to pull up GPU Z to see that. SLI is enabled and 372.54 the driver version so um, now I'll show you again um, let me go ahead and reset the uh, settings here so 87 88 and 83 and the temperatures um, Go ahead and run GPU Z this time in the background, tracking each of the uh, GPUs. Oops. And we'll run it at full fans. Give a comparison. Here's an air horn. Okay, you can see the uh, fans are at full force, 4300 RPM, 40, 43, 4400 RPM. Score is about the same. And peak temps, CPU was 81C as opposed to 88C last time. GPU was 83C as opposed to 88C. And the slave GPU was 79C as opposed to, I think it was 83C. So it helps. And uh, you can see that the, uh, let me go ahead and turn this off now. So what this tells us is that there's, whatever your comfort level is as far as fan noise and cooling, it's adjustable um, using the Clevo Control Center um, and the fan profiles. So just uh, something to consider. I hope this was helpful. Until next time, thanks for listening.